legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Ace. match our rules of the world. Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves, and entrusted each to humanity's instinct the right eye of light, and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny. Humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature. But now, we were thinking reeds. And we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. Telling me any of your kind survived. Well, at least you're the silent type. The last sage I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and on. What? escape this fate. We will perish together. My dear sweet child, at last you have fulfilled your promise to me. Fear not, for I am always watching over you. But the right eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages.
boosting weather and strong earthquakes occurring throughout the region. Officials are currently trying to determine the source of these phenomena, as citizens nervously clamor for answers. Our special report on the regional disasters, Nature Unleashed, continues after these messages. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you, Enzo? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you. For free, I dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg, sobbing like a schoolboy? <sighs> this is why I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> But if it's that, I get torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of inferno you witches go to if you break the contract. Forget about it. I'd off the fucking wing bastards all damn day. Oh, hey, what the hell? Hey. Well, what the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Oh. Done and done. Let's go home, Enzo. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. Forget about it. And what's this Cereza shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. And now in Lighthouse, the annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities, set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. Whoa, shit! The Platinum Stars! Crap. I need to hurry up and get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. We'll talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. Did you hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please! 
You hear that? I want one of those! The thing's flying in the air right now! There, that's the one! That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Wrap it up nice, will you? It's a present for God's sakes. Yo! You know what? Screw the pretty ribbon! Just hurry up and put it in the box, will ya? I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. I never buy anything on sale. Didn't I say it? This is why I can't have nice things. Damn it, car! Start already! Right on time to deliver a little holiday cheer. Oh, fucking wonderful! Bro, 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 Don? But I don't believe in Santa! Watch your mouth, Uzo. Don't want anyone offering you for sacrilege before you pay your time. I'm be fucking leaveable! Ah!
was quick. Did you get everything? Uh, forgot the caviar. You think they're still open? It's not Christmas without caviar. Let's finish this quickly then. Revenge, not all you desire. I know the one who destroyed your world. I know the one who destroyed your love. Who? Jean's gonna wander Inferno suffering for eternity. Dims the brakes. I didn't ask you to tell me what I already know, Rodan. Especially if you're going to be flip about it. You know better than that. You're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control, Bayonetta. Something's up. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right. Does it? You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. <laughs> you wasn't a big fan of her shit when she was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now? Nah, still not a fan. She's not dead, Enzo. She's right, Enzo. You're only really dead after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. 
but that's just a matter of time. Because I don't see no way of saving a soul lost in hell. What about the gates? The real gates of hell? I can't stop you from trying to use them, but I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. You need this. The heart of an Umbra witch. The magic that keep your kind alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable. But you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. Enzo, you've got a jet, right? What? No! No, 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 no! I do not know! Listen, I appreciate the situation, but you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home! They're waiting for me! And I still got a place Santa tonight! Let the real Santa take care of the presents. Now let's go! I said I believed, but Ed and Edna, you can't put one over on those two little fuckers, let me tell you. <laughs> hey! Let go! Let go of me! Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? <laughs> the sacred mountain of Fimbleventer. The joint's supposed to be the link between Inferno and Paradiso. They say there is an entrance to Inferno, the gates of hell, somewhere on this mountain. No one knows where, though. Hell, no one even knows if it's true or not. The only reason this overgrown rock is worshipped like some god in the first place is that no one's ever been able to get close to the damn thing. It's like it don't want you there. Every climber ends up stranded or worse. And don't even try to fly a plane near that place, or bada boo! But at least your soul doesn't have a long walk to whichever afterlife you got lined up, right? I'll wait for you and know it to me, at the foot of the mountain. Just hurry up with whatever it is you gotta do and get back there, all right? And the hotel's going on your account, with a mini bar too. Gotta keep myself busy while I'm waiting. Forget about it. Uh, I love those miniature drinks. I can't believe you, Enzo. I didn't know the in-flight service was exclusive to fat Italians. Man, the plane ain't free, you know. That reminds me, you owe Alex the kid for the charter. Whoa! Oh, That's Fimbleventer. Not such a bad place when you look at it. Oh, but you gotta have a death wish to get close to that damn place if you ask me. Wow. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. What the hell? Where did these clouds come from? Enzo, this is where I get off. Say hi to the wife and kids for me. What? What? Wait, what? You're joking, right? I can't find it, please, I can't!
John, I'm on my way. Just behave yourself for a bit longer. Santa don't get paid enough for this shit. When Ed and Edna found their daddy wasn't coming back, they made me stay all the way through dinner. Don't pretend you weren't delighted. I hear Enzo's wife makes a lovely casserole. It was damn good. I give you that. Anyway, tell me how my babies are doing. They're behaving quite well. They found plenty of playmates here. Figured they would. Noah Toon had some deep connections with Fimbleventer and the Gates of Hell back in its day. Wouldn't be surprised to find a few of those playmates that like it rougher than the typical bunch. Anyway, you need any supplies, just make sure you keep bringing me these halos. And remember, I ain't here to get up in your business. My business is making things that do business. So don't come crying to me when you... Think you gotta do everything alone? I'm here to help. Just make sure you don't bust a cap at my ass. <laughs> I'm never going to reach Fimbleventer at this rate. Well, at least it won't be a boring trip. Huh? You can see me. You're putting on quite a show, little magician. Oh, you like that, huh? Wait till you see the climax. Silly girl. You'll have to do better than that to earn a tip, my dear. Who the hell are you? I'm just an innocent little girl lost in Wonderland, suffering at the hands of the Queen's trumped up troops. Hit one, huh? Enough riddles. How can you see me? Because we're both in Purgatorio. Purgatorio. So, are we heading to Fimbleventer on a shopping trip for Mummy, little one? Maybe. But she told me never to talk to strangers. Stay out of my way, or I'll make sure you never get in it again. Ooh, scary. Off with their heads, eh? They must have heard me. Oh! <laughs> 
If you're looking for the kid, he went that away. Time to dance too long. A friend is waiting for me. Secrets from Mummy. Nope. Nothing comes to mind, love. Sorry. But since this is your bloody mess, do you mind hurrying the fuck up and getting rid of this thing? Now, that's no way to talk to a lady. No wonder your guardian angels are trying to give you a good spanking. Whatever, love. You've already been following me, so let's make a deal. You save me, I'll show you around this joint. Heading to Fimbleventer, aren't we? That makes two of us. And it'll take two of us, won't it, love? You seem to have skipped school the day they taught basic negotiation skills. You're supposed to negotiate from a position of strength, little one. Not just be a one-trick pony. My power to... That works too, I suppose. I don't have time to give a shit about who you are or why you're going to the mountain. Take me there and make it quick. You stay with me, and I promise you'll end up in one piece. Got it? Wait! Stop! Before I show you the way, love, you gotta agree to a little condition. Ugh. Do we need to go over my lesson again? First, learn to talk to a lady. We don't react very well to being insulted, little one. Well then, I don't react to being called little one. The name's Loki. And what should I call you, La... <clears throat> I mean, man. Do I look like a man to you? Bayonetta or Ceresa? Take your pick. <laughs> Ceresa! You don't look like a Ceresa to me. Well then, Bayonetta it is. Let's move, little one. Hey! I just told you my name is... You'll earn your name when you become a man.
doing? Let go of me! So, little one, what's all this sovereign business about? Not a clue, love. Oi! Well, whatever. If your sovereignness is going to get in my way, our deal is over. And if we're going to have to meet any more of your friends, you'd better learn to take care of yourself. I'm quite all right on my own. Got it? Your tricks aren't going to work forever, little one. <laughs> More tricks, little magician. Maybe you've got more to offer than I expected. For the time being, though, stay here and don't get frisky. There. That is the one, is it not? Yes. I will never forget that face. So, our fates and our paths cross once again. Whoa! <laughs> Bingo! Fleur de la Reine, made of Merin, also known as Diamond Lilies, I think. The name Nerine is derived from the Nereids, or Sea Nymphs. Quite appropriate for this city. Luca? Will you quit calling me that? I'm not a pet, or a cat! Oh wait, you... said Luca. Not used to that. How are you, Bayonetta? No matter where I am, you always know how to make an entrance. Nice glasses. Oh, these? <laughs> Rodan has a soft spot for Shinshu Sake from Japan. It was an easy trade to get him to make these for me. And don't get it twisted, Bayonetta. I'm not stalking you, this time at least. Look, I know you've got nothing but secrets. Hell, that goes for anyone, right? But if there's one thing I've learned in my line of work, it's when I found you, I found the story. What on earth are you on about this time? Don't act dumb with me. You know the story better than anyone. The Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. Clans of the Overseer, watching over us all with the eyes of the world. The power to govern light and darkness. But now I know that there really was an Overseer. And this Overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The Overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. The god of chaos? From what my research has told me, that god used to live right here in Noatu. That's why this place has gateways to each realm of the Trinity of Realities. La Porta del Paradiso, the doorway to heaven, and La Porta del Inferno, the real gates of hell. <gasps> Listen, I heard about John. Squirrels get all the nuts. You're a lucky little fella, huh? Never took you for an animal lover, Bayonetta. What can I say? 
I took a liking to one of the locals. So he's your little tour guide, huh? Look, I know this isn't the time to chat. Let me see what I can find out to help you. Just don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Cheshire. Don't you worry about my nose. I can smell trouble when I see it. You just take care of yourself. little one. I've never seen a witch, or a sage for that matter, pull off something like that. <laughs> Come on, love. Y you think I'm just going to tell you my secrets when I don't even know whose side you're on? All right. It seems I can control the remembrance of time. That's a big deal here. It seems? I mean, no. I got nothing else to say, love. The remembrance of time. that you're looking at. Right, let's go. I've got a party and I've no intention of being late. walk into Fimbleventer, we're going to have to be creative, love, if we're ever going to make it. Look over there. That's the Cathedral of Cascades. It was used for ritual worship of the mountain. Inside, there's a device that can build a bridge to the heavens. It will take us halfway up Fimbleventer. An express pass. Right, love? Seems something finally came to mind, little one. While you're in the remembering mood, you wouldn't happen to know where the entrance to Inferno is up there, would you? Inferno? You must be in some shit if you're volunteering to go there. Let me put it this way, love. Once we get to the mountain, you'll get your choice of going up or going down. Thimbleventer doesn't let you just stick around. And which way will you be going? Me? <sighs> What's the matter, little one? Scared of what comes next? Shut up! Just get me to the mountain! Little one! Get away from me! Wow. 
Sometimes made me a deal. He's my guide, and he's not done guiding. I think we're going in entirely different directions. about our final destination. Going down. found a good reason to visit. You know, I'm all about them Angelic Hymns Gold LPs. Angels in Agony are pretty much my slow jams. I play that back home, and the demons will be lined up to get down. Lucky for me, I got a few jams of my own cooking that'll need a little demon kick to finish them off. That LP is just what the doctor ordered. Now hand it over, and I'll go get my swerve on. Motherfucker did not want to listen to reason, but it's all good, cause neither did I put him to work. Huh? What? Oh, shit! Uh, what the fuck was that? Wait, who the fuck are you? Hey, you're the pervert staring at Bayonetta's tits all the time. You really need to learn how to talk to a lady. Hey, I am no... Wait, how, how did... No time for this, mate. Where's the mountain? Where's Fimbleventer? I'm in a hurry. Uh, hey, kid! What the hell was that? Kids these days. Huh. always landing on his feet, Cheshire. No 
time. I have to get to Fimble Venture. Why? Why do I have to go there? What is on the mountain? <sighs> My head feels like it's gonna burst. <sighs> I have to get to that mountain. Shit! What was that? Nice mask, mate. Headed to that witch's party. Not the best costume I've ever seen, but she doesn't seem like the picky type. Just don't get in my way. Where is she? <laughs> so you are going to her party. Quite the popular one, isn't she? Sorry, mate, but I haven't the fucking slightest. Haven't seen her in ages. Besides, even if I knew, she and I have a special relationship. Then this will be all the easier. Shit. What kind of adult picks on little children? I'm not a child! A mask? Let me guess. This is one of your assistants, little one? Nothing comes to mind, love. Sorry. Maybe you've got something you'd like to tell me, love. I'm not a fan of getting wrapped up in domestic disputes. Trust me, little one. He's not my type.
Why did you have to go and do that, little one? Mad. And what about you? Do you really think it's safe to play dead with someone who can make you dead? Men like to gamble, love. Risking everything for nothing. Seems about right. I know another little boy just like that. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of guy. Maybe a bit of a pervert, though. Let's go. We're almost to the cathedral. They don't look like your kind of normal attention. A friend, love? I think my friends and I might have had a falling out. Why would Infernals be after me? Something, sir. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right, does it? Good to know some of you are keeping your part of the contract. Let's do this. the heavens should be right above us. Are you sure? <laughs> Not really. Not really, huh? But you're right. This is it. Call it a woman's intuition. <laughs> Women's intuition. 
What kind of silly comic book shit is that? You still don't know a thing about me. Let's just say I have plenty of experience with nothing coming to mind. What? I spent 500 years not knowing who I was. I only found out the truth recently. Y you too? Listen, I don't remember a thing. Nothing. I don't even know why I'm so damn sure I need to go to that mountain. But I know I have to. It's all I know. Does that make any sense? Come now, little one. Can't let the girls know you've got a heart. It's not like that. If that's all you know, that's all the sense you need. Just believe. That's what I did. Bayonetta. I think... I remember this. Huh? Brad kid. So, I see you're acquainted. How did you get here? I'm the great L-U-K-A Luca. I didn't go through all these ridiculous ordeals to just randomly show up in opportune places, you know. See? Risking everything for nothing. Told you I knew someone just like that. So, what are you after this time? Oh, loads of stuff. For instance, I found this really great place for seafood. They do an amazing sardine meunier. But more importantly, I'm investigating an old Noah Toon story known as The Legend of Aesir. The Legend of Aesir? <laughs> and this fairy tale is. Actually, this might have something to do with you, Bayonetta. You don't say. The legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers, most of all ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world, Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will, so the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts, the right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will they could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. The eyes. That's right. The eyes of the world. Controlled by a Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. The eyes of the world? However, the influence of the right eye 
the one controlled by the sages, left this world forever with the death of the final sage. <gasps> do the natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye? And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Thimbleventer. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Bayonetta, get on! Just do something about that. Come on! Right. Let's go. Let's.
me one of them. Another failure. These pawns can no longer serve my purposes. must be held in my own hands to truly be attained. Suck the drink. Where are we? Further from the mountain than we started, that's for sure. I feel like I've seen this place before. At last, you stand before me without escape. This is not your world, and you should not be in it. What was once won must be won once again. You must be turned to nothing. Little one, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, love. Now I'm sure I've seen this room before. If you're still trying to go to hell, Bayonetta, I might know the shortcut. Oh? I'm remembering. What I really am. Time's almost up. Bayonetta, you better start creating miracles. about the shortcut, but I think they've sent a welcoming party. I thought 
I was your type. I guess I had you all wrong. Step away, Umbra Witch. This is not your fight. Actually, it is. Is that all you got? Welcome to hell, love. Too late to repent. These are the gates. Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these. Let's just say, she's not having a good day. No, she isn't, little one. But she'd still be alive if she hadn't wasted her life saving mine. Huh? Well, she doesn't seem like such a bad friend after all. Thimble Venter can wait for now. I'm opening the gate. Well, thank you. Oh, I can't just leave you at a shuttered gate after your sob story, love. Besides, who's gonna save you if our stalker decides to show up again? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Try to keep up. You're probably the only person on the planet who says, go to hell, and means take me there. I suppose you're right. I think I've done my job here. 
Time for me to hit the road, love. Thanks for doing all. The world is dark and full of terrors. No place to be alone. What do you want about, love? You should be happy I helped you this long. Now I have to get to Thimbleventer. No, you will stay right here. I, I... I can't focus on what I need to do here if I have to worry about you off on your own. Come now, love. I'll take you to Thimbleventer after we finish my business. Yeah, great plan, love. You can't be on your own, so let's go into the depths of hell. Go save your friend. I'm out of here. I said no. You again? Listen, mate. One, the mask is shit, okay? And two, get out of my way. Your sins must be punished, Loki. What? Who are you? You pretend to forget me. Yet even if your memory may now be lost, the remembrances of time exist forever. Am I wrong, Lumen Sage? I'm the one you've been trying to kill this whole time? After a witch. I am who you shall face. You will return what is rightfully mine. What I should never have lost. The Eye? The Eye? Child or not, you will see no mercy, Sovereign One. The sins you have forgotten are timeless. Now, remember them as you stare upon my face! Sorry, mate. Nothing comes to mind. But now that I know that mouth of yours works, maybe you could jog my memory a bit. the meaning of this? You said this was to stop the witch's rebellion!
or Laura. Enough of your empty words. Balder, this war is not your doing. No, it is not. I was deceived. Deceived by the light. Rosa, I'm so sorry. Please, please be still. I will save you. <laughs> vision of truth, a remembrance of time. Lies! You possess the left eye, do you not? You are an overseer. See the truth. See with the left eye of darkness. was unexpected, but no bother. The return of the eyes is simply a matter of time. Rodan, don't tell me you came here to rescue me. 
like some kind of knight in shining armor. Risk? Do I look like the risk you intend? If you would have kicked the bucket here, I'd be all over your soul like a hungry hyena. <laughs> hmm. Let's have some fun. John, there she is. Hold up. You're not seriously thinking of getting between a man and his next payday. Mm. Chill, Bayonetta. Don't go shooting up my target, you dig? I need that one intact. to pick up a friend. It's almost her curfew. Are you still going to forgive me my trespasses now? What are you going to do without your precious palace? His umbra coronzont, Kassam Nuf, for Bowen Eran, Madama Butterfly. Nick Mahai, Las Madama Butterfly. Not the Katsba, Zurdo Unf, Zurnzava Unzama. Good thing the three of us girls enjoy a good cat. I don't know what you did to piss her off, but whatever it was, nice. Jean! 
to be a bloody coronation. Now, release my Umbran sister. I told you to cheat. You got more important shit to do than dealing with this monstrosity. Jean. Jean, get up. You're going to be late. Jean, it's time. Get up! Please, John! Wake up! John! Uh, Sir Hesa. What do you need? A wake up kiss or something? Never were much of a morning person, were you? This... but this is... Soreza, you came here to... to rescue me? Are you insane? You took the words right out of my mouth. Let's go. Body and get some rest too. Be careful, Sereza. Something something big is going to happen to our world. I know. Just go home. And no stopping or turning around along the way. Fucked up my business. <gasps> Gotta hand it to you. This is quality. The perfect palette for an artiste. Now, time to do my dirty. Hell's not So that's how that works. Well, not very romantic. <laughs> Got a nice glow about it, don't you think? As for its power, well, you don't need me to explain the finer points of fucking shit up, do you?
You've got them all lined up waiting to be saved, huh? Don't forget about your new toy. Diplomacy has failed, then? Surrender, or it will be more than your mask that you lose. Umbro, witch. Or shall I call Bayonetta? That seems to be what people call me these days. Very well, then, Bayonetta. You shall be the first Umbro witch to die at my hand. On my honor as a looming sage. Not be forgiven. He will never be forgiven. My soul is a looming. He will draw his last breath before me! This, this is impossible! Little one? But where am I? Baby Nada! You can get away from me!
be overrun soon. Gather at the clock tower. We must defend it with all our strength. You! You?
Oh, so sorry, love. I kind of miss a bit there. Little one. Here to guide you as always. Someone sent you back 500 years, it seems. <sighs> I see you've already discovered the truth. They don't call you the left eye for not, do they? Who are you? Never mind that. Something more important to talk about, my dear. The witch and the sage are still alive. Trifling creatures, both of them. I must be rid of them as soon as possible. I want what they have. I want back what is mine. The eyes of the world. What? The other me escaped to the future, and I can't let him have them. Which is why I must see you eliminated, my dear. gate should lead to Kid! Hey, pull yourself together. What happened? Luca, was it? You know the way to Fimbleventer, right? Please, take me there. I, I, I remember. I remember everything. I have to hurry. Are you nuts, kid? We need to get you patched up. There's no time! Please take me to Fimbleventer, or the world will end! He and I, we are good and evil. Evil cannot be all that is left. What? Keep us safe with this. It's my trump card. Please. Just take me there. Huh. Girls passing out in front of me I'm used to, but this, this is unbelievable. Well, I guess it beats addicting toddlers to lollipops. emblem on his forehead. He's the one you're really after. What? We need to get back to my time. We can open a portal from here.
Doctor! The dimensional portal is opening! We need to get back to my time! Quickly! There's no time! Walter, please take care of Cereza. Our dear sweet child will awaken to her potential. She will awaken to the eyes of the world. Rosa! What is this place? We're in my time. But there's not a moment to explain. We need to get to the sacred mountain now. What is upon the mountain? I don't know. But it's where the god who created the eyes of the world once lived. And now someone is after that power. The eyes. How can we reach that place? We are in Vigrid. Time to jump. Jump? That wasn't a request. Go! Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our life. And your kind are? The kind of witches you don't fuck with. I have to admit, I like you much better this way, Balder. You actually shut up and follow directions. I do what I choose. Tell me, how do you know my name? Uh, um, it's, uh, just the name I heard that witch, the one you called Rosa, call out to you. Anyway, this should get us to Fimblebender at mock speed. I would not be so sure of that, witch. My, my. Angels and demons working together. I suppose if they can get along, we can as well. Consider this a momentary truce, at least until the encroachers are punished. Well, that's one way to do it. Here's mine. Time to tango. Ready for it now. Piggyback ride is killing my back. Why can't you be an adorable little citizita that weighs like 10 pounds? Well, at least your little good luck charm got me where I needed to go, right? We're here, kid. Right on the front door of that temple you were so damn determined to get to. Not sure if they're gonna roll out the red carpet for us. Uh... Wrong one, mate. You should be looking for your better half. 
<laughs> You've got your memories back. Convenient. But you're certainly not looking like my better half. The only thing you have to offer me is your sovereign power. Then you will be truly worthless. Welcome to Thimble Venter. The Lumen Sage, right eye of the Overseer, the Umbra Witch, left eye of the Overseer. Now, everything has fallen into place. Uh, Bayonetta, get out of. Uh. Balder, this is what I promised you. Your chance at revenge. Accept it freely. <laughs> that is your revenge. Is this not the one who destroyed your world, who destroyed your life? Surely this can't be all you hoped to see. us were once a single being. However, this half said he would awaken humans to the truth of their existence. So he divided our divine power and our very souls in two. We should have become mere shells, but this half left behind a certain power within himself in order to protect the balance, our split brought the world. A sovereign power to freely control the eyes of the world. Unfortunately, this one made quite the miscalculation. He had not accounted for the power of evil intent which grew as humans prospered. I couldn't use the sovereign power to control the eyes, so instead, I used the evil hearts of humans to begin to retrieve the power of the ancient god. And all that remained is taking back the one power I do not yet have. The sovereign power. The power this one held within. You managed to escape 500 years before, but it was merely a waiting game. Waiting for you to be reborn. Now the time has come for our powers to become one again, and for me to ascend to the throne as Aesir, God. Restore your sovereign power to my hands. 
I now have the power to control the eyes as I wish. Can I start from the right eye? Take him if it pleases you. He is nothing but an empty container to me now. I have no more use for him. It is time I receive your power, witch. Don't worry, I got the kid. You've got my permission to show him your stuff, Bayonetta. What on earth was that? Just some fool always swinging in out of nowhere. Albeit with absolutely impeccable timing. I suppose not even a god can see him coming. Gods do not concern themselves with the machinations of incense. Now, Umbral Witch, the left eye of darkness must return from whence it came. Then just try to take it back. You've destroyed more than you know. of the world hold power, but their power came from that of a god. This god will see those powers returned. The power of Aesir returns to me, and I shall rule over this world as time demands it. To be the overseer of this world, to rule it, a power only meant for Aesir. Human free will is a joke. It is a worthless illusion. You need only obey me. My will shall become that of the universe. Humans need not be told that their will shall be. We can create our world with our own eyes. An indulgent statement of human folly. Do you have any idea how much turmoil and confusion you have created? We may not seek our next step. We may stumble. We may fall off the path. But we always move forward. That is the power of man! Be 
Bayonetta! Shall we illustrate? Let's rock! Okay. His first mistake was thinking that all I had to me was some shit sovereign power. Stupid fool doesn't get why I'm the better half. I thought you were all out of cards. The real trump card's the one you keep hidden until just the right timing, mate. What? The real power of Lord Aesir, the god of chaos, is nothingness. The power to erase anything and everything from the world. Even the very eyes that created it. No! Whoa, hold on for a second, kid. What happens to the world if you... Any good card play is a gambler, right? Either the world will be destroyed, or it will create its own path. Human free will will determine which way things go. We'll just begin anew. And return to another place in time. Create a new era. One that cowers to my will. Shit! He's trying to shed his body and return to the spirit realm. He'll just be reborn in a different era. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Do you think you can contain my power? Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. You will never see another era trapped inside me. Only an endless circle of time. Mate, that's pure evil you're dealing with. It's a poison that will live inside you forever. So be it. What's wrong can be made right through human hands. Seresa, listen to me. You, you know my name? 
if I stray from my path, you must be the one. The one to stop me. Walder! Ceresa, just one time. Call me... Daddy. Daddy. Thank you, Ceresa. My dear, sweet child. Seems like the world's still in one piece. Seems so. You don't need the eyes of the world, love. I believe in your kind. You can create whatever future you desire. What will happen to you? I'll just take a little break. This world doesn't need me anymore, right? Will I see you again? Hard to say. I'll come back to this world someday. So if you're lucky, maybe we'll meet again, love. Little one, I... I'm not little. And I have a name. It's Aesir. I mean, my name is Loki. And I think you can quit treating me like a kid now. Then I'll call you by your name when I see you again. As a man. Bloody hell. Well, that's fine, I guess. At least I know what I want to be when I grow up, right? See you around, Bayonetta. Goodbye, little one. You can call me Ceresa. Sorry, love. But you still don't strike me as a Ceresa. are so much better after the holidays. And the distinct lack of acts of God doesn't hurt either. Can you believe they tore my dress to shreds? Right about here, I think it was. Absolutely criminal. There's such a thing as a time and a place. Time? Got your tongue? No. No. I'm fine. Hey, come on. How long do I have to keep doing this? Investigative journalism is big in January. The gates of hell goes down. And so does your anonymous source, my friend. Now keep driving. All right, all right, I get it. I owe you. But I'm not the one with the endless tab. Where is that deadbeat anyway? Well, those two are getting along nicely. Now, to get those new heels. Come along, Enzo. Damn it! I forgot Enzo! Oh, I was wondering why there wasn't a short, foul-mouthed Italian in earshot. Where did you leave him? He said he'd wait for me in the plane. Again. 
again? What a day! What a day! <laughs> Wonderful! That's the second dress in a month! Another day in the life, Cereza. Maybe you should try being nice to Enzo for a change. Save the chit chat for later. We've got work to do. Now you're speaking my language. There's only one way to ring in the new year. Let's dance, boys!